Improve your summertime frame game. Welcome to the channel where fashion meets fragrance. My name is Kevin Samuel, your style godfather. And guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about one of the three Fs, that's frames, and how to improve any of your summertime game. If you like these videos, cool, go ahead and subscribe, and drop a like down below. Shout out to the CIA. What's going on, you modern, sexy savages? Guys, what are the three Fs? Frames, fragrance, and footwear. And yes, in spring and summertime, when the sun is out, it is a great time to rock great killer frames. Sunglasses are the easiest way from any guy to go from here to cool, just, just like that. Whether you're suited and booted, or you're just in a white t-shirt and jeans, putting on a great pair of sunglasses can change your look. Guys, you know your godfather always says, do not skimp on what you put on your face. I know, I know there are gonna be some of you younger guys out there that are gonna be like, hey godfather, I'm not quite there yet, so what do I do? And I get it guys, you may not be there, but you need to know where you need to get to. At the end of the day, when it comes down to great frames, a great pair of aviators look good on anybody. And the question is whether you want to go acetate or metal. Let's take something like this. This is a great pair of frames from my favorite maker, Jacques Marie Bonge. This is a great acetate look that can dress down or dress up. Acetate, in my opinion, looks great as an optical and a much more casual sunglass. This is one of the few pairs of acetate frames that you could actually dress up. This is the Felsen and the colorway is Noir. However, when you want to be dressed business appropriate, looking good in a suit, a jacket, a button up, you want to make sure you go over to Metal Eyewear. As I have a lot of frames, but I'm gonna show you some of my favorite newer pickups for this summer. Let's get into it. First up, these from Dita right here. These are called the System One. Robert Downey Jr.'s iconic eyewear, when you see him in the Avengers and Iron Man, he's often rocking Dita. This is a System One in matte, in matte black with rose gold. Looks good with, looks good in dark, looks good with dark colors or rose gold. The thing I love about this frame is that top bar. Top bars are making a huge comeback and they give you something else to grab your frames. Not just the sides. And with the and with the detailing with the rose gold out there, it these are great. These are really good as a nice sunglass on a day when the sun is really high because it provides a lot of protection. These are frames that obviously really should not wear indoors. If you want to wear something outdoors and indoors, let's check something like this out. Oh yeah. Guys, I love this. This is an Adita Flight 007. Yes, James Bond 007. In a gold colorway with a nice brown lens that is good for indoors or outdoors. And even better guys, these are incredibly light to wear on my face. When it's really warm outside, they feel like you're almost wearing nothing. Guys, I get so much use out of this particular frame right here. Gold is making a real comeback and these are incredible. Now, I know some guys say, well, do you have to match your metals and with frames, you really don't unless you choose to. Meaning if you got on silver jewelry, can you wear gold frames? Of course, but it's always better to have more options than less. Since we said silver, let's get into the next one. Whew, love those. Oh yeah, Jacques Marie Mange does things right. And this frame right here is called the Solar Silver Fox. A nice silver matte look with a nice rose tint. Guys, it is hard to look bad in a frame that looks this good. Just look at the details. I'm gonna tell you right now, this particular frame comes in three different colorways and I like all of them. I don't think any guy could go wrong with this particular frame. So I'll leave a link down in the description where you decide to go with the gold, where you decide to go with the silver fox, or where you decide to go white gold look. They're all incredible. Next, let's go to the Jacques Marie Mage GT. Boom. Well, now you can see the other one. What's more rounder, a little bit more casual look, 
This one is straight up sophisticated elegance. This looks great in a suit or when you're dressed up. These are incredible. They have that classic throwback feel that will look good in any decade, any season, any reason. These right here stand the test of time because of their timeless style. Dang, I love these. Oh, man, I love these. The last but certainly not least, Guys, it's hard to go wrong with something from Cartier. Oh, oh, oh yeah. From Cartier is actually a limited edition frame. It's silver with leather wrap. It's called the Cartier Must. Cartier is not for the faint of heart. I'm gonna tell you right there. They're like chrome hearts or anything like that. They're on the upper end of luxury, but guys, all you need is one great pair. And the great thing about Cartier is you can customize them. You can actually change the lenses out, change the metal wear out. You can actually get whatever you want etched in there, your initials or whatever. Cartier Chrome Hearts are the next step up. And here's the thing, they're not for young guys. These are for the grown damn men out there who are working, who want to treat themselves as something really special. I'm gonna tell you, probably one of my favorite frames to wear because the light blue lens can be worn indoor and outdoor. So gentlemen, when it comes right down to it, I'm always gonna tell you, in frames, in my opinion, are investment level items. Shoes are investment level items, frames are investment level items. Don't skimp on your frames. I know the temptation is to say, hey man, this pair of $80 Ray-Bans look just like that, but no, they are not. You will know the difference when you put them on your face. Well, I don't want to spend the money. What if I lose my break? What if I lose them or drop them off? But hey, man, we're grown men over here. I expect you to be able to take care of the things that you have. I mean, you don't use that when you're driving a car, do you? I mean, you don't drive a hoopty because you might get into an accident. Don't use those excuses when you're talking about something you're gonna have on your face. When people are talking to you, they're looking at your face 80% of the time. Makes you love what you have on your face. Again, frames, fragrance, and footwear, three ways to make any guy stand out and go from here to here just like that. Do me a favor, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know what are some of your favorite frames to rock and wear. What look good indoors? What look good outdoors? What makes you stand apart from the crowd? Inquiring minds would like to know. Your godfather is out. Hey guys, whether look, style, or life, whether personal or professional, you can level up and be your personal best each and every day. If you're interested in any of that, do us both a favor, follow the link in the description and book your one-on-one -on -one session with me. Details down in the description. Peace.